Hey everyone, welcome. I'm Naomi and today I want to talk about guilt and in particular the guilt that we as moms tend to feel over the summer because summer is the season of peak mom guilt and I think we need to you know cut that BS out. Okay, now here's why this is coming up for me. So there's this meme that's going around about, uh, and it's a really beautiful, really sweet meme about how you only have 18 summers with your kids and what number, how many summers do you have left and, you know, that sort of thing. And, you know, the, the meme I think comes, you know, from a place of, of the best intentions, right? Really appreciating the time that we have with our kids and really celebrating the time that we have with them and how, you know, summer in and of itself is a time when we have such a phenomenal opportunity to do this because our kids have more free time, right? And so what better time to, you know, really enjoy our kids, right? I mean, it makes sense. It's also just like a little bit mom shaming, a little bit, you know, particularly if you are a mom who works year round, right? If you are a mom who can't really take loads of time off over the summer, if you're a mom, if you're a single mom or a, a solo parent, you know, um, there's so many reasons why, you know, while that meme is, has the best intentions, it can still come off, you know, as, you know, as mom shaming, which really stinks. Right? Because I think, you know, all of us as moms really do want to enjoy the summer with our kids. And, you know, when we're faced with something like that, we're like, oh man, totally failing again this summer. You know, like I suck as a mom and as a human being and my kids are going to hate me and I'm screwing up their lives. And that's probably not true, <laughs> you know? And so what I really want to do is you know, give you a different way to look at summer and a different way to really approach how you think about spending your time with your kids and how to not place all of your eggs in the basket of summer, <laughs> okay? So three ways to remove some of the, the guilt from summertime with your kids, okay? So number one, number one is to create really clear boundaries. Okay, now just creating really clear boundaries is sort of saying like, hey, work stays at work. When I'm at home, I'm at home with my kids. Um, as somebody who works from home, that can be really tricky. You know, so for me, I have designated times in the day where it is like work time for me or me time for me. Um, and as much as I can, I incorporate my kids into them, right? As much as I can, I, you know, make space for my kids in the routines that I have, in the work that I have. But sometimes it's like, hey, mommy needs quiet time right now because I can't really focus with you screaming in my, my ear. It's just not going to work. You know, so I create designated quiet times during my day and have super clear boundaries around them so that my kids know, hey, this is mommy time. And when I'm done, we can play, you know, or, you know, after I'm like, I'm done working at two, after two, I'm all yours. Right? I am all yours, you know, um, and also to create boundaries, you know, if you do go on vacation, create boundaries around vacation, like work doesn't come with you on vacation, right? So there's so many ways to create healthy boundaries to just say, hey, <laughs> my time with my kids is really important, but I do still have to work and that doesn't make me a bad mom and I don't have to feel guilty about it. So that's number one. Okay, so number two, number two is to make the most of the moments that you have. Um, and really this is just saying like, you can make any moment special, right? You can make the weekend special, you can make nighttime special, you can make early morning special, right? If you work all day long, it doesn't make you a bad mom. If you can't get time off, it doesn't make you a bad mom, right? If you send your kids to camp, it doesn't make you a bad mom, right? Make the most of the moments that you have instead of feeling like you have to make the entire summer special. Okay, and the last one, number three, three. <laughs> Number three is that summer isn't the only time of the year that you can really enjoy your kids, right? Summer is fantastic, right? It's a wonderful time to enjoy the time that you have with your kids, but it is not the only season of the year that you can enjoy with your kids, right? You can make any time of the year special, right? When we idealize summer, then we make it so that, you know, nothing else is as good, right? You know, like for me and for my family, we celebrate the winter solstice and we have like a really special thing that we do on the winter solstice. You know, we celebrate, you know, 
every time of the year that we can. You know, so to say that summer, you only have 18 summers with your kids, I mean, you might as well say you only have 18 years with your kids, right? You know, and I think most parents know that that's not true, and, and there are a lot of different ways to look at that. Some parents have less than that with their kids. You know, like some, some parents have less than that. And some parents get, you know, so many more, you know? I mean, I'm fortunate in that my parents are still alive and I still see them often and they are very much a part of my own kids' lives, you know? Um, I spent vacations with my parents up through my, you know, mid-20s and actually even into my 30s, you know? I went on vacations with my parents from time to time. So, you know, like to say that you only have 18 years with your kids, that's up to you. Right? In some ways. You know, obviously it's a little bit more than that. But, you know, just keep in mind if you think about summer as the only time to make your time with your kids special, it's actually kind of limited, right? You know, it's really limited. So if we go back to this idea of one, two, and three, right? Clear boundaries is number one. Create clear boundaries around your time. I know that's hard. <laughs> Right? I know it's hard because I struggle with it, but when I do it, it makes the time that I'm working more powerful, more impactful, more potent, I get more done, right? And it makes the time that I have with my kids more valuable and more special because it's super clear, okay? Number two is to make the most of every moment, right? So instead of like looking to like this big season as the only time that I have, can I make bath time special, right? Can I make like cuddling in bed with my kids at night special? You know, can I make even some of the most mundane moments in our lives special? Those are the ones that I'm gonna remember, right? Um, and then finally, you know, instead of thinking that summer is the only time that I have with my kids, you know, I have the whole year. I have all year, right? Not just the summer, not just the summer. I get to choose my time. So, let's ditch the mom guilt this summer. Let's stop making summer the peak guilt season for moms and instead say like, hey, cut yourself some slack, mama. Enjoy the time that you have. Make the most of it. Set clear boundaries. Don't make yourself feel like you're the worst mom ever because you also have things that you wanna do in the summer that might not involve your kids, right? Enjoy them, love them, take time for yourself too, whether it's working, whether it's self-care, whatever it is, know that it's your choice and that you're not a bad mom for making choices sometimes that don't always involve the direct benefit to your children, even in the summer, okay? So no more guilt over the summer for mamas or less at the very least. And as always, thank you for tuning in and uh, I'll see you again really soon. Until then, happy summer. Bye.